In this video, I'm going to do a number of examples on finding percentage of a uh, given quantity. So let us start with the first question, find 10% of 250. Now 10% you should know is nothing but uh, one tenth. Okay, so one thing that you should know is 10% as a, as a fraction is one tenth. Okay, so whenever you have 10%, you're finding one tenth of this. So well, I want to find 10% and 10% is nothing but one tenth of that given quantity. So it's one tenth of $250. So you have to simply divide 250 by 10. So let us do that, which is 250 divided by 10. So I'm going to do this. So this is 250 can be written as 25 times 10 over 10. So this 10 and 10 gets cancelled. So the answer is $25. 10% of $250 is $25. Okay, so let me change color. We want to find 50%. Okay, now 50% as a fraction, I hope you know, is one half. 50% when you say is 50 out of 100. 10% means it's 10 out of 100. And 10 out of 100 is same as 1 out of 10. So 50% 50 is 50 out of 100, which is 1 half. So if you want to find 10, 50% of anything, 50% is just half of that quantity. So you want to find half of $300. So well, half of 200 is 100, and half of 100 is 50. So they should not be difficult. So this is $150. Okay, let us move on to the next question. 75% of 80 kg. So 75%, can I write 75% as percent is nothing uh, when students see percent, they find it difficult because they don't understand percent is nothing but a ratio okay so this is 50 75 percent i hope you can understand this 25 percent plus 50 percent so i just told you 50 percent as a fraction 50 percent is one half whenever you see 50 percent you should see one half as a fraction so if 50 percent is one half 25 percent is how much of 50 percent is again half of 50 percent so 25 percent is nothing but a quarter okay so now these are fractions that helps you to do maths quite easy uh, fast so if you want to find 50 percent first i'll find 50 percent of 80 50 percent of 80 kg is simply half of 80 kg which is 40 kg and if i know 50 percent i can find very easily 25% of 80. 25% is again half of 50%. If 50% is 40 kg, 25% is half of 40 kg, which is 20 kg. Or you can also think in a different way, a quarter of 80 kg is 20 kg. So you can add these together. So I can add like this. So this is nothing but 75% of 80 kg don't add these two is you have to add this two so it is 60 kgs just like that okay so let me change color so i want to find 25 12.5 percent okay so let me go back so 50 percent is 50 percent is one half so just now we saw then 25 percent is one quarter so if you know 25 percent you can also find 12.5 percent 12.5 percent is half of 25 percent so that is one eighth okay so one eighth at times is difficult to divide so let us first find let me do in short now so i'll write 50 percent only 50 percent and 50% of 280 is half of this, which is 140 kg. So I'm keeping, I'm keep halving it. So 25%, if 50% is 140 kg, 
I have halved 280 and half of 280 is 140. So 50% is 140 kg, so 25% is 70 kg. So I'm again going to half, so this means 12.5% is again half of 25%, which is 35 kgs. So this is how you should be working when you're dealing with percentages. Okay, the next is 37.5%. Okay, now 37.5 is an interesting percent. If you can remember this, 37.5% is 25% plus how much percent? Plus 12.5%. Can you see that? 25% plus 12.5% 12 is 37.5%. Okay, so we want to find 37.5% of 40 kgs, 40 apples. So let me do 50%. Okay, now I want you to think 50% is, what did I tell? 50% is half. So 50% of 40 apples is 20 apples. I'm only write 20. So from this, can I write, so this I'm going to write 25%. So 50% is 20 kgs. 25%, 20 apples, sorry. So 25% would be 10 apples. So 12.5% would be again half of 25%, which is 5 apples. So this means 37.5%, 37.5% is 15 apples, just like that. Okay, I want you to think about 62.5%. Okay, so 62.5% has you can clearly see that has got 50% plus something. So 50% plus what gives you 62.5? Well, that is easy now. It's nothing but 12.5%. Okay, so I'm going to use the same technique. So let us do first, let me use a different color, 50%. So 50, if you know 50%, you can find many percent. So 50% is half of this, which is 240. Okay. So from this, this implies 25% would be how much? Would be half of 50%, which is 120. 120, me. I'm not writing the unit. So from this, if you know 25%, I can write 12.5%. 12.5% is half of 25%, uh, which is 60. So if you add this to, if you add this to, which is 62.5%, 62.5% is addition of this to, which is 300 meters. So this is how you can do smartly work with percentages. Okay, now 40%. So how, which strategy would you use here? I want to find 40%. So can I find 10%? So let us do this in two different ways. 10% is, as I told you, is one tenth, so which is 60 people. So from 10%, can you find 40%? Well, that is four times of that. If you know 10%, you can find 40%. So this is becoming how many times bigger? This is becoming four times bigger. So you do the same thing to this number. You have to make this number four times bigger. So I know 6 times 4 is 24, so this is 240 people. So the answer would be 240 people. So how can we do this in a different way? 240 people. Okay, so to do in a different way, can I say 50%? Can I find 50%? 50% would be half of this, which is 300 people. And from that, if I take away 10%, this is a different strategy, Ten, taking away 10% is six, taking away 60 people. So this is 40% would give you the same answer. This is a technique I'm showing you so that you can check your answer by doing one same example in two different ways. Okay, now you want to find 99% of this. Okay, so can I find 10%? 
10% of 300 is how many? Is 30 cars. So from 10% can you find 1%? 1% is 1 tenth of 10%. So if you know 10%, you can find 1%, which is 3 cars. Okay? So if you know 1%, so what's 100%? 100% of 300 is 300. 100% of 300 is 100. 100% of 300 cars is 300. So 1% is how much? 1% we saw is 3 cars. So from this 2, can I find 99%? Well, yes, I can. I will take away. So 300 take away 3, which is 297 cars. This is how you can do work with percentage in a smart way. So 80%, okay, so let me use a brown color. So 10% is how much? 10% is 560. So can I find 80%? Well, 10% goes in 80% how many times? So that is eight times. So you have to do the same thing to this number. So times it by, sorry, this is 56, not 560, times it by eight. 56 times 8, I don't know. Well, I'll go 50 times 8. 50 times 8 is 400. And then I'll go 6 times 8, which is 48. So this is, I'll add this to, which is $448 is the final answer.